If Nigeria fails, Igbos are going to suffer more than any tribe. High Chief Emmanuel Iwanya, President General of Ohanese and Igbo worldwide, has emphasized the critical need for the Igbo community to support President Bola Tenobu's administration, warning the Igbos would face the most severe consequences if Nigeria fails. His remarks were made during a meeting with the members of the Igbo community assembly at his residence in Abuja last week. Explaining the political dynamics, Iwanyamu highlighted that the Igbos did not initially support President Tinubu in the recent election, driven by the belief that it was time for a southeasterner to lead the nation. However, following the official election results confirmed by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and upheld by the Apex Courts, Iwanya would declare that the Igbos would fully support the current administration. So, as a leader, I have proclaimed that Igbos, as good citizens of Nigeria, will support him. We are going to support him because we want Nigeria to be a success. If Nigeria fails, Igbos are going to suffer more than any tribe, stated Iwanya. He further elaborated on the reasons behind this stance, noting the substantial investments made by the Igbo community across the nation particularly in cities like Abuja. If Nigeria is a corporate body like a company, I think we Igbos have more investment than many other tribes. Like Abuja, for example, the Igbos have a lot of investment there, have a lot of investment here. So if Nigeria has a problem, Igbos are going to suffer, he explained. Iwanya was a call for fair treatment from the federal government in return, stressing the importance of safeguarding Igbo investments and rights within the federation. I think it is my duty as your leader to say that we are going to give support so that we can help the government to succeed, but we also respect the government to reciprocate the gesture by ensuring that what belongs to us is given to us, he said. Reflecting on his personal connections and past political engagements, Iwanya will recounted his relationship with figures such as MK Wabiola and noticed his long-standing acquaintance with Tunambu, which dates back to the mutual efforts for Abiola. He reassured his community that supporting Tunambu's government was a strategic move aimed at ensuring stability and prosperity for the Igbos in Nigeria. The Igbo leader's call for support comes at a time when national unity and cooperation are seen as pivotal for addressing Nigeria's myriad challenges. The one-hour statements have ignited discussions on the role of ethnic communities in national politics and their impact on the collective quest for a prosperous Nigeria. Well, a lot of people are not going to agree with you on this one, Mr. Iwanya. Then go talk, say, ah, this is how we don't come as I say, make them support them. They're not going to see the reasons, even though your own reasons and opinion, you feel they are actually very valid. And they're supposed to be. Hmm? People know even when you see here. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm going to tell, uh, what's it called, tell us. Now, somebody actually, the person who said he's an obedient, came out recently and said, if Tunubu impresses him, he's going to support him. And, you know, people were already like, uh-uh, uh, you're not being, you know, some people were like, this one, you're already sounding like this. Just tell us with your future, say, you don't need support him already. And I'm like, if Tunubu does well, actually, if Tunubu does well for Nigeria, and we see it, I don't mean audio doing well, though, as in doing well and we are not seeing it. I mean doing well and we, we are feeling it. We are seeing him doing well. Sincerely, I don't say why well, I'm not going to support him. Because I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but anything concerning the growth and development and progress of Nigeria, that is what I'm all about. So anybody who does it, no matter who the person is, if the person likes, maybe the person get home. If the person likes, maybe the person come from the... Uh, uh, 10th century, you understand? Me, I go support that person. Okay? So, when you were coming out to say, this is how it should be, he has gone, thought about it, and he has come back. This is what he does. This is what he has to you. And if you listen to it with a, as in, with an unbiased mind, with a clear mind, you are going to see that he's making sense from the angle he's coming from. Now listen to this. Oh guy, you're a complete liar. The Igbos can never suffer, but your so-called elders that will suffer, not the entire Igbos. Still your own opinion. Just be happy because you are not from Olu. Otherwise, I can I can't say that. Sabo has spoken again. What do you mean, Sabo? <laughs> oh, you mean Sabo Tua? 
Let no one vilify Elder Iwanyawo for he is partly correct. Tenembu is our president presently and wisdom demands that we should support him. I love this. Now this thing is, what I'm trying to say is, if the person do well, that is what I'm saying, you know, I'm not saying support him blindly even when he's failing because Nigerians, we are known to support somebody blindly. Most especially if the person is from a tribe, most especially if the person is, um, how am I going to put it? The person is from our tribe, the person is our person. Eh? We don't support the person, we say we don't support them. That is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this. If person do well, you reward the person for doing well. But if person fail, you're not going to reward them for failure. You get. You're not going to reward the person for failure. Rather, you're going to reward the person for doing well. Chai, and this man thought after he said this lie, Tunubu will call him and offer him some contract. Continue selling yourself, thinking you are selling Igbos. After Jim Wobodo spoke against Igbos, where is he today? After Rochas, after Zeke, Oji, Oji Uzokalo, ETC sold the brothers. They were, where are they today? In fact, I'm wondering if there are no youth in your village that can, that can rough hand you whenever you step foot in your community. Criminal, he's identified as high chief or high thief. Now, that is what I'm saying. If you if you listen to this message with an open mind, if you listen to this with an open mind, I kid you not. If you listen to this with an open mind, I kid you not. Um, this thing now, this particular message, you're going to understand it. What Iwanyang is saying that. They are going to support, but me, I'm putting my own is support him. Yes, no more, no more, no more, no more. You support this person, but that is, does not mean when he's failing, you support him. And God, uh, do you understand? No more, no more. And I feel this is another angle where you know, I've always been of the opinion since this uh, indigenous people of Biafra, that is the Biafra talk, since all the Indaboski, you know, they work, you should find another way around to make things work. We should find another way around to make things work in this country. The Yoruba nation, we see they are going about this peacefully. Until we heard that, so they don't even, they even carry violence, won't enter their own. Do you understand? No, no, how am I going to put it? If the government don't listen, you find another way. Another way does not mean that thing you are doing, you repeat it over and over again. Another way might be seeking for peace. Do you understand? Another way might be, okay, we, you know, you know, follow this road before, we'll follow this road. You follow in the Boski Road today. Tomorrow, you say make you follow uh, a one hour road. Do you understand? How are Igbos going to suffer the most without Tenembu? The Igbos cannot survive. This your statement makes you unreasonable and shameful. Uh, maybe say many people don't understand, Sha. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy. <laughs>